Alright guys, so today I'm going to be showing you a much requested video. Um, this is going to be the tutorial for Chris Pratt's card trick. He did it on the Graham Norton show and I'll leave a link on the screen so you guys can see that. Um, so basically the way the trick starts off is he's going through the deck and he kind of just peeks through and he looks for the card in the third position. So in this case, let's say we have the eight of hearts. So this is in the third position from the top and he cuts the deck so he leaves the cards here he goes to the left skips the middle and then he comes back so now what he tells uh, Will I Am to do what he tells him to do is take the top card from here put it to the left and put the top card and then put it to the right and now you're left with the third card from the top which is this one the eight of hearts so all along you know the card is the eight of hearts so you're basically just forcing the card and then he takes the two cards on either side, and luckily they happen to be fours, so that kind of works out for him. But here I have a three um, and a queen. So what he does is, is he'll take the cards on either side, and he'll say, look, go ahead and sandwich the middle pile in between the two cards. And then I guess he had them uh, mix up the deck a little bit and then place it in the middle between these two piles. So the whole thing is here, he's just, he's just forcing the cards, so you can basically force the card any way you want to. This is just the way he does it. And he tells uh, the spectator to shuffle the deck four times, so he mixes it up. And the whole thing is it doesn't matter what they do to the deck because you actually already know what the card is. So then he takes the deck on his own. He knows the card is going to be, in this case, the Eight of Hearts. So what you're doing is you're looking for that Eight of Hearts, and you're kind of just moving the deck around, acting like you're pushing cards in different ways, just like this. And now we have the Eight of Hearts. You move that to the bottom and this whole time you're not letting the spectators see what you're doing okay so if you see the performance you'll kind of get what I'm saying so you have the eight of hearts you move that to the bottom you're moving some cards to the top and eventually all you have to do is move three cards on top of that eight in the process of mixing these cards together so it looks like the deck is a big mess and eventually you're getting the cards so you have one or sorry three cards on top of the eight so you should have one two three and then the eight in the fourth position here. And now what he does is he tells the spectator he's going to burn some of the cards. So basically, uh, the spectator has not seen any of the faces, and he says that he's going to have four chances in order to guess the card, and he shows the deck. He goes, is this your card? So he shows the face of the bottom card to the spectator, and this is obviously not it. So what he does is he actually takes the card. So he takes the card here, the king, puts it to the table, burns the card, which is a random card and moves it to the top. So now what you have is the spectator's card in the second position from the bottom. So then here he goes, is this your card? This is obviously not the card. So what he does is as the deck is turned over, when he goes to grab it, he just pushes it back a little bit under the cover of his hand. He pushes the top card down a little bit, slides out the eight, puts it onto the table, grabs the six, moves it to the top and does the same thing two more times. So he goes, is this your card? And then he actually burns it or actually grabs a card. He actually grabs this one, puts it to the top. And eventually you want there to be four cards left. He's go, is this your card? This is obviously not their card. You burn it or so you place it down and you burn it to the top. And then he places the deck off to the side and says, wait. So he picks up the four card packet and from here, the card is going to be second from the top. So you do the same exact thing. You say, wait, wait, hold on. I have a small deck over here. So you pick it up. You say, is this your card? And obviously the spectator says no, so you push it back again with your fingers, moving it back, grabbing that eight, pushing it to the bottom, and then you burn this card back to the top. And you say, look, is this your card? And they say no, so then you put it down again. And then at this point, you can just flash the two cards and say, are these your cards? And obviously none of these are their cards. So what you do is their card is now going to be on the very bottom of this pile. And what you do is you have the spectators make a fist, and you place the cards in between their top two fingers just like this and now since their card is on the bottom uh, the cards are going to be a lot easier to when you hit them out of the spectators hands the bottom card should be the one that stays there so it'll make sense if you guys watch performance basically you're having the spectator place a decent grip on the cards just like this and you're actually swatting the cards pretty hard um, you'll kind of get a feel for how hard you need to hit them but eventually you'll hit the cards hard enough for all the cards to fly out until you're left with just one card and that's going to be the spectator's card. So this is a trick guys, I hope you guys like it and as always thanks for watching.